Welcome to our RSNA case collection, Case of Breast Fibromatosis. This is a case of a 34-year-old female at high lifetime risk for developing breast cancer secondary to BRIP1 genetic mutation and prior mantle radiation for Hodgkin's lymphoma. She presented for high-risk screening breast MRI. She reported no prior history of breast surgery or breast or chest wall trauma. Her screening breast MRI demonstrated a new 0.7 centimeter irregular enhancing mass in the upper inner left breast. The mass showed persistent enhancement kinetics and T2 signal hypointensity. Following the screening breast MRI, MRI directed diagnostic mammogram and ultrasound were performed. Mammogram demonstrated a faint asymmetry only visualized on the LM and MLO views. Ultrasound demonstrated a mixed echogenicity mass with minimal peripheral blood flow corresponding to the irregular enhancing mass on MRI. Ultrasound guided biopsy was subsequently performed, which led to the diagnosis of breast fibromatosis. The diagnosis of fibromatosis should be considered for an irregular enhancing mass in close proximity to the pectoral muscle. Although uncommon, an adequately sampled irregular enhancing mass detected on breast MRI with pathology showing fibromatosis should be considered concordant. The use of breast MRI for biopsy proven fibromatosis allows for anatomic evaluation of tumor extent, which can involve underlying pectoralis fascia, muscles, and chest wall. MRI is also helpful to monitor for recurrence after treatment. Differential diagnostic considerations for breast fibromatosis include invasive breast cancer, granular cell tumor, radial scar, and PASH. The primary diagnostic consideration for a new enhancing breast mass on screening MRI in a high-risk patient is primary invasive breast cancer. Granular cell tumors of the breast can mimic both primary breast cancer and breast fibromatosis. These tumors are benign and arise from Schwann cells. Radial scars are another mimicker of malignancy in the breast, most often presenting as architectural distortion with or without enhancement on MRI. Finally, PASH can present as an enhancing mass on MRI and does share imaging features that overlap with those of malignancy. In conclusion, breast fibromatosis is a benign infiltrative tumor with no malignant potential, but high recurrence rates. MRI is helpful in evaluating potential recurrence. Some cases are associated with familial adenomatous polyposis and other gene mutations. Few cases have reportedly been associated with prior breast trauma or surgery, including association with breast implants. The imaging features of breast fibromatosis overlap with those of malignancy, demonstrating an irregular mass with speculated margins. Although benign with good prognosis, breast fibromatosis can be locally aggressive with recurrence. The standard treatment is wide local excision.